What's going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. So today we got to do our first real mow up here in the front and we were able to do the mow in the back. I actually raised the, the height of cut just a little bit, but the key thing that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be putting down some compost. So I ordered about two yards of compost for, um, the, for the front and the back. I actually only got about a yard and a half. Typically I have a much, much better quality of compost but because i didn't wait for it to be screened it's got a bunch of clumps in there which is fine because i can i can get rid of all that stuff with my lansy back there and um so i'm not too terribly worried about it but i think i mentioned last year when i did this same thing i put down compost at least twice a year and the reason why i do that is just because i feel like it's pretty much my secret weapon for my lawn it's it's one of those things that it just provides a lot of good organic material it gets a lot of uh, clean, um, natural nitrogen. Um, it keeps you from having to do a lot more fertilization. But probably the most important thing that it does up here in the front is that it allows my Bermuda to come out of dormancy much quicker. And the reason why it does that is because the compost is black, it holds in more heat, the Bermuda wants to be warmer, and so that actually helps it to emerge out of its dormancy much, much quicker. So that's the reason why I do it um, for all those reasons. Um, just the added benefit is the Bermuda because I do love my Bermuda, but because I live in Nashville, Tennessee, where the temperature is a little bit wonky at times, we only get about five months, maybe six months if we're lucky of Bermuda growth, and then it all goes dormant. Well, with this, it extends it to about seven or eight months even sometimes, depending on how the fall looks. So I'm hoping that I can uh, kind of push it out of its dormancy right now. Today is warm. We're supposed to be 80 today and 80 again tomorrow, but... The problem is that it is going to be back in the 50s starting on Tuesday. So we're not out of uh, early spring, late spring, whatever you want to call it yet. But uh, we are getting to the point where we need to start uh, really worrying about the fact that it's going to start getting warm. Um, but we don't have to worry about frost anymore, which is a good thing. Uh, maybe a little bit of frost in the early morning, but that stuff will burn off pretty quickly. Um, so we want to start thinking about pulling this Bermuda out of dormancy and the best way to do that is to get some compost into it. So, lawn looks great. What you see behind me is green because of the perennial ryegrass. And then what we are going to do is really push that Bermuda so that any brown spots that you still see in there, and there are quite a few, um, which is the dormant Bermuda, that'll come out. Um, so I'm gonna put down this compost first, and then I may do a scalp of this lawn at some point, even though it's pretty good right now. Um, I've got the mower set at about, uh, I don't know, I think it's at a half an inch. Um, for my real mower and then I may go down to three eighths of an inch just to get that really hard hard scalp out of it but I may not need to so for now I'm going to leave it alone anything that I have left I'm actually going to put in my backyard backyard is looking really good I was worried about the backyard and I'll show it to you here real quick because I didn't think it was really growing very fast but if you take a look um here I'll, I'll spin my camera around real quick I mean, it looks great. You can see all the shadow and it is a little bit thin and light right here just because that's all the perennial. But down over there, I mean, it looks amazing. It looks so good. Oh, and check out the hill. I haven't even done very much. I haven't even put down any mulch yet, um, but it is flowering like crazy. It's looking good. My little Japanese maple is starting to uh, leaf up there, but I'm super happy with the way that it's turning out. So we will put down whatever compost I have left over back here, but I am gonna have a lot of chunks because again, it wasn't screened and it's just the way it is but um i'll put it aside and i'll break it up some more get as much of it as i can out of there and anything that i have left over i can actually turn around and put it into my flower beds there or i can even put some back over here on the hill if i need to um but i need to get some more um some more mulch i put down mulch this week and i put down about two yards and only got the front so i still got to do this whole hill right here and that whole hill is going to take at least another two yards, plus some flowers, um, flower beds that are back here in the back as well. So still lots of work, but spring is here and uh, we're doing some some uh, fun stuff. All the things that I really enjoy doing, which is to get um, the lawn ready. Um, but yeah, first things first, we're, let's get this compost down on the lawn and then uh, we can go from there. So let's get to work.
right, folks, well, that's pretty much it. We are done with all of this compost. Um, apologize for all the background noise. Somebody's uh, cutting down some trees and they're doing some mulching of their own. Uh, but yeah, the compost is all done. Uh, this was a lot more work than normal. And the reason why is because I was impatient and I didn't wait for them to have the mulch that was screened. So I basically was doing that with my Lanzi the whole time. Created a lot more work for myself and it created a lot of debris. In fact, if you look, if you look up there on the hill, all of that black stuff is the leftover uh, debris and I'm just gonna mulch over it. Uh, and hopefully that compost will just turn into some uh, good plant food up there at the top. So the next time lesson learned, I will wait until I have some screen and not do all that work. Uh, but anyway, uh, in the end, we got exactly what we needed. I did not film putting down compost back here but uh, I'll show you real quick what it looks like. Uh, because the grass is so much uh, taller here, you don't see as much compost, but it is there because it just kind of falls through the canopy. And um, I was able to get compost all the way up to the side of my truck and the back of my truck. And uh, we've got quite a bit there. Um, I was asked in last year's video, I actually had a comment recently in last year's video about compost and said, you know, why do you bother when you can just put down a bunch of nitrogen, um, urea or whatever. And um, I don't disagree. You could get a lot of nitrogen in your lawn and get a lot of other good nutrients in there just by doing it chemically. Uh, but I really like adding organic materials to my lawn. I've, I've said that many times. I will continue to do this. I will continue to add sand um, for leveling. And I will also continue to add, uh, uh, not back here, by the way, uh, up in the front, I'll add sand. But back here and in the front, I'm gonna do compost because it just adds a lot of organic material. My, my last house, uh, when I first moved in, you could see that there was like a big layer of just clay. And they said they put down topsoil, but it really wasn't. It was maybe two inches and um, it was very little. But by the time I left, because I continued to add sand, I continued to add compost, my, my dirt was actually very, very healthy. Had a nice thick layer of black dirt and it really makes a big difference when you have good dirt, you have good grass. And that's the whole reason why I do that. It's, it just continues to add that material to the, to the lawn and it makes things green. The, the grass back here is really turning out nicely. I was worried, I didn't think I had good coverage, but really it's looking great because I don't see any Bermuda yet. And so it's green because it's just green. And, and I was able to get rid of the weeds with the T-zone a few weeks ago. So I have very little uh, clover now. I have very little weeds, uh, but it looks great. So anyway, uh, we're all done. A lot of work it's not for everybody i get it not everybody wants to do what i'm doing and i'm fine with that just understand that's what i do and i enjoy it and i think it, it makes a big difference in my lawn and my lawn's small enough that i can do it if i had a much bigger lawn i probably wouldn't be doing as much work as i do uh but you know that's okay it just I'm, I'm happy with what i'm able to do with the size lawn that i have so with that i'm going to close out this video and then hopefully we'll see results over time as to how the compost uh, fares in this lawn and um, one other thing before I close out, I just want to thank everybody. I recently hit 5,000 subscribers. It's been a long road to get here. Um, still a pretty small channel compared to some of the other lawn channels, but I really appreciate all the people that have supported me along the way and have gotten me this far. Uh, one of the things that I, you know, I've, I've got lots of friends and family that support me, but I'm always surprised by the vast number of people that are subscribers to this channel are, are not people that I know that well. Um, these are people that I just um, like the content or um, have been able to interact with me and I really do appreciate all that. And I love the fact that I have a little bit of an audience, um, even though it's pretty small, but I do appreciate each and every person that has subscribed to the channel and has helped me to get to 5,000. So uh, I have no aspirations to be a huge channel. If it happens, it happens, but that was never the goal. I just like to document the things that I do. Um, and honestly, some of this is legacy as well. Um, you know, one day I hope that when my kids, when I'm long gone, my kids and my grandkids can look back at some of these videos and, and see what, uh, what the old man did. So anyway, I really do appreciate you all. And uh, thank you so much for all the continued support. And um, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you're new to the channel and you're not one of those subscribers, please subscribe down below. And if you want to be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell. And we will see you on the next one. Have a great week, everybody.